Peer2 Tech, backup and restore software, allows technicians to backup user data precisely and automated. So it's a great tool for technicians, desktop support, IT support agents, etc., and great for managers to, IT managers to simply put together a file that is that will be consistent with uh, as far as backing up with all the uh, technicians. So simply double click on it, you'll probably get this uh, uh, warning this is a Windows 10 machine just click on more info run anyway and once the program loads it's great you have all of these default locations that uh, most uh, user data will need to be backed up from and the program actually captures the user uh, ID in this case it's HP uh, great opportunity here to uh, for example say we don't want to back up the desktop you highlight it and you delete it Say we don't want them to back up their videos, highlight and delete it. Uh, you can add a directory. In this case, let's go ahead and add the C, C drive, uh, creating a custom folder, backup user data. And in this case, if you were to go in here, C user data, just created a test document. So it gets added on here. Um, you can custom add directories so you can type it in or literally go in here copy and then paste it if you need it if you wanted to enter we'll just delete that for right now um, once you figure out exactly what you want you can simply save that as a profile so say you wanted to save it as a marketing profile for the marketing department uh, the legal department etc so let's just call this a test so this is the test department. We'll, we're going to save that. It'll ask where to save it. So in this case, we will save it to my thumb drive, um, just on the root. And you'll see, here it is. And you can double click on this if you open it as a uh, notepad file. And you can actually add if you wanted to. Uh, so server locations, etc. So once we have that, we can uh, also have other options such as clear the path. Oops, here we go. Clear the path. It'll clear it. Restore defaults. We'll restore the um, default locations that the uh, program starts with. Uh, we can load our profile. Let's load our test T2T. And uh, if, as you recall, we deleted some. We added the C user backup. So once that's ready to go, we simply hit the backup button. Once we back up, it'll ask, where do we want to back up to? So I'll, I'll take my thumb drive. Here's the backup test folder. As you can see, there's nothing here. Click OK, and it'll start this process. Uh, data backed up. Here you have the HP profile. Then you have uh, the actual C drive, and then the user drive. And you see all of these that were backed up. User location. And what, what happens is when you do back that up, it creates two locations, this restore.userid.res, or at the root of where the program was running, restore or restore underscore HP is the user. When you are ready to restore data, it'll look for that file. So for example, let's go into our C drive and restore this folder that we backed up, or uh, delete that folder. So when we're trying to restore, let's restore this restore.hp, and it'll automatically start restoring it. As you can see, of the various different locations that we backed up, one of them was C, backup user data. And here it is, it came right back. Um, simple as that, backup and restore, it's an uh, easy tool. The great thing about it is that you can open this up, you can add your own, and then you can name this the legal department, the marketing department, and have all your techs follow this process. Great tool, easy, efficient, uh, accurate. Hope you all enjoy, thank you very much.